Hi folks, Marcus here at Country Wood Smoke HQ. I'm here with my good friend Ollie Warner and he's from Rogers and Son. Good to meet you mate. Nice to, nice to meet you. Yeah. And we're going to cook some salt marsh lamb hanging over the fire pit. This. So what are we going to do? We're going to put this medieval style torture hook we're going to hang it through the tendons on here and we're going to cook it over the fire pit i've got a silver birch fire going over there and we're going to cook this over the silver birch fire so we've got this beautiful leg of lamb here and you've got the main bit of the meat there and the sort of shank here and all you do is get your hook and you put it through here through the tendon and that should hold it up then quite tough so you've got to force it through and then that hangs like that over the fire pit so we've got this beautiful lamb here and it's uh, on the chain like that and we're going to simply hang this Not too close but you know a few inches over the fire and that should cook and smoke lovely this smoke coming up here from the silver birch fire it's going to flavor this lamb the heat's going to cook it slowly and a few hours and this will be ready and beautifully cooked yeah. okay so this smells amazing we've got our silver birch here the fire going ollie and uh, the smell of that smoke is beautiful isn't it's it absolutely stunning it's really it's actually really subtle yeah really nice and we're just gonna um season up the lamb a little bit i've got my salt water in here my salmuera so i'm just gonna just and that should start to form a nice salty crust on the outside so we're gonna do this all the way through yeah, yeah, we're just cool. going to sit here and chat. We might break out some wine later, maybe. Okay, cool. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go like that every once in a while. As you can see, it drips down. It forms a nice, um, it's going to form a nice crust on the bottom. And you can see, look at the colour of this. Wow. I'll show you guys. That is amazing. Look at the colour of that. And that's just the smoke and the heat. It's going to... Well, slowly. So how long how, how long are we going to cook this for? Until um, it's ready I think, until um, it's falling yeah. apart so it might take um, three or four hours maybe. As long as it takes. Yeah as long <laughs> as it takes I think yeah. that's you know that's the rule so we're looking for this to be nice and tender and smoky and cooked and it's just going to be beautiful I think. We don't want to overcook it just cook it until it's it's, it's good and the heat should work its way up through. And so I was going to ask yeah so it, it, we're just going to cook it as is yeah. we're not going to take it off or anything yep. we're just going to cook it leave it hanging i might drop it brilliant. down a little bit lower if, if i want to crisp it up a little bit but that should be fine there's a nice heat there it's not too right. you can hold your hand there for a few seconds without it being you know right, too yeah. hot so you're looking for a nice gentle heat and that smoke there just wafts over it mm. lovely and you just a bit of that it's really really yeah. good looking forward to this can't wait. Yeah. I really can't. So a few hours in, this is starting to colour up lovely. We've got a nice steady heat from underneath. I've just been seasoning it with this salt water to build up a nice salty crust on the outside. It's looking pretty good, isn't it, Ollie? It's looking stunning. I can just smell it. Yeah. It just smells absolutely We've beautiful. just been sat here drinking wine and well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Ollie's yeah, drunk I've, his, I've but mine. <laughs> having a nice relaxing afternoon. Um, this is almost done. We're looking for about 60-ish C. So it's about 50, so it's getting there. So another maybe an hour or something. Um, yeah, so in the meantime, just keep seasoning it. And, and I'll go get another glass of wine. Yeah, cheers. Cool, cheers. Mm. Nice wine. Mm. So we've been sat here tending this for a few hours, uh, I think it's three and a half, four hours now yeah. it's been. Um, the the, the um, skin's getting nice and crisp, lovely colour here and uh, yeah it's looking really good. Just checking the temperature 
I'm looking for about 60 degrees C. We're bang on. Bang C, on yeah. for this. Nice. We want it to be nice and pink. So there's little bits that are 55. That's going to be nice and rare. That's looking pretty good. I think we'll take this off then. And uh, let's carve it up. That looks fantastic. There we go. Let's take it up and have a cut and see how we got on. Lovely. Yes. What do you think, mate? It looks awesome. And all I want to do is just eat that. It's eat it. dripping now you there. Just wanna, I just, just want to eat it. Mm. Okay, so uh, let's cut a few slices off here and have a taste. This is looking amazing, mate. Colour. Wow. And that's yeah. Smoke. It's nice, nice and medium mm. rare, nice and looks pink. Lovely. Looks beautiful. It's a bit charred. Yeah, a bit charred on the outside. Nice. Mm. Oh wow. Yeah. Nice and tender. Really nicely cooked. Um, nice seasoning on the outside from the smoke and mm. from where we put in the salt. Absolutely. On it. It's a little bit um, very subtle. It, it's really, really lovely. Yeah. You can see um, the taste of the lamb as well, and that's really important, I think, with a special bit of lamb like this. So, you know, tell us a little bit more about this lamb and the salt marsh lamb. And yeah, I, I mean, absolutely. The, that the beauty of what, what I'm still tasting in my mouth is that you can taste the lamb, and 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 the main issue I think with with, with lamb and, and people cooking it is, is over seasoning and everything else, especially special cut. This is salt marsh lamb, and the reason we're, we're talking about it. Is, Kind of in, in such a way is that it is special mm. because it this is treated and nurtured in such a way that it it goes out out to the salt marshes it grazes on yeah. samphire sea lavender all these amazing amazing things and then it comes back and then the tide comes in and then it goes out again yeah. and then the lambs come down and they've got a fresh new plate to kind of graze on the next day um it's beautiful but, it's not mm. not as fat as a lot of lamb it's you know no, and the fat's not, yeah. got a real nice creaminess about it it's mm. lovely so subtle so subtle and, they, and because because they, they they move quite a lot and everything else the, the, the lambs and but the, the spring lamb is so subtle but it is absolutely it just yeah, the taste is yeah, absolutely stunning yeah. mm. i'm enjoying that yeah. so um yeah. yeah cheers that's really good so we've enjoyed this video yeah. so uh cheers, cheers ollie thank you i'm gonna mm. get into our wine Oh. and we've got a nice evening planned if you like what I do here at Countrywood Smoke then please subscribe there's a button in the bottom corner there let us let us know you like this and uh, give us a like and a comment and thank you mate it's been a pleasure no worries Absolute beautiful pleasure. lamb we've had fun with this today yeah. cooking it in a different way so yeah let's uh, enjoy this nice bit of food and wine awesome. cheers on. thank you cheers